Hi there, welcome to Chesapeake Bites. I'm Chef John Shields, founder of Our Common Table. Join us as we travel around the bay taking tasty bites of all the Chesapeake has to offer. In this series, we present one recipe every Wednesday demonstrating how you can eat well, protect our environment, and rebuild our local food economy one dish at a time. This week on Chesapeake Bites, we'll whip up a strawberry rhubarb shortcake. This classic duo of sweet springtime Maryland strawberries and tart local rhubarb go together perfectly to top this unique shortcake. Maybe you can see here, this is what the rhubarb looks like when it is cut up, diced and stuff like that. Red celery. Red it's, a, it's a little bit <laughs> early this year for everywhere to get the rhubarb. So what we did last year at the farmer's market at the restaurant, we got a boatload of it and <clears throat> we quickly blanched it, chopped it, and froze, froze it, it for the whole year. So we mm -hmm. always have rhubarb. So I still had some of that there. And uh, so Robert, tell us a little bit about rhubarb and how it might pertain to celery. <laughs> <laughs> if you do find rhubarb, and you'll find some at the farmer's market later this, this year, uh, it's going to look like celery, but maybe twice as wide, uh, and it'll have a reddish tinge yeah. as well. Uh, rhubarb, again, is something you can grow in your yard. It's, in fact, once you get it growing, you know, it takes a lot to kill it. Really? Oh, you know, yes. They're, they're very strong-rooted. They're a perennial, so they're going to die down in the winter, uh, but every spring they'll send the shoots back up with huge leaves on them and the red stalks. Oh, okay. okay. And as you harvest, as you know, you only use the stalks. Okay. The, the leaves are not edible. You should avoid those. Okay. okay. Um, but the stalks you can use in many ways. Uh, and rhubarb and strawberry are so complimentary. Yeah. Uh, out at the demonstration garden that the master gardeners run at the state fair, we had one year a raised bed of rhubarb and strawberry. Hmm. So that was our strawberry rhubarb pie bed. Okay. Oh my gosh. I Already love it. I love it. for making love it. your rhubarb strawberry pie. So is it true that this in the olden days, like the pre turn of the previous century, this just a rhubarb was called the pie plant. It, is it, that a nickname for, uh, for it? I've heard of that before, okay. yes, because it's used so often in pies. In, in, in pies. Mm -hmm. With lots of sugar, though. Lots yeah, of sugar. Oh, yes. Uh, rhubarb tends to be a, a bit bitter, mm -hmm. is that how you describe it? Yes, it yes, it'd be bitter without some sort of sweetening agent. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now I have never prepared rhubarb in order to cook. Yeah. Oh, do, okay. you, do you take the ribs off of it like you would with celery? John. You do. You do. Exactly like that. You can cut through and just pull it down. Yeah. Pull, okay. pull it yeah. straight down. <laughs> but, uh, this is our celery rhubarb, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> we could have spray, spray, spray painted it We could have painted and painted a little bit of red. But yes, yes. <laughs> All right, okay. so let me explain the rest of our, our thing right here. So what we did is we took the rhubarb that mm -hmm. was already cooked, <clears throat> and I put it in a little bit of water and mm. a little bit of sugar and we're cooking it down so you can kind of see how it's it it you know gets softened okay. so what you want to do because we're going to make shortcakes right mm -hmm. and what we do you get it to this stage we're going to put it in the frigidaire and you want to bring it all the way down to cold okay right? at that time you want to take about half of the strawberries you have on hand and fold those in to okay. the mixture, and that's gonna be your base for the shortcake. Okay. All, right. All right, so here, let's take this here, mm -hmm. and we're going to give that over to our <clears throat> handy dandy helpers. Okay. And we baked some shortcakes here, and I'm gonna tell you all about those, because they're pretty cool. I'll take those right here. Are they too hot for me to handle? No, they're just really yummy. I don't oh, give me those them things. Up, honey. Mary, give me those damn things. I've been admiring these now for a couple of hours. She has been looking at those. So let me tell you a little bit about the shortcake biscuits. I'm sure m many of you, um, you know, make biscuits at home. Short biscuits, when they're talking about a short cake, mm -hmm. basically what you're doing is you're taking flour and you're rubbing butter into it. So it makes them flaky. So they call that okay. a short 
cake. cake. Ah. But I got this recipe that was very cool. You're just taking some flour and putting it together in a bowl. You put a little sugar, baking powder, salt, yada yada. Same uh -huh. things you would make for any biscuit. But then there's some coconut milk no, here. Yes, there oh. is. So, which is really a very, very cool thing. Mm. So instead of using water and butter and milk in it, all you do is you take one can of coconut milk, mm -hmm. put it into the flour mixture with the leavening and everything, and then you would just roll it out mm -hmm. and into about, I would say about three quarters of an inch, and then I use something similar to that to cut it out. So you could do bigger ones, smaller ones, and also sometimes if I don't have one of these, you know what I do? I just take the dough, flatten it out, put it into a circle, and oh. cut it in Cut it into to, nice. to farls. They call that farls. So they're farls? little triangles. Nice. So you could bake those as a farl. Mm. And then we end up with something looking just like this. Now somewhere, I know that we already made our luscious we thing. Did. And we have some strawberries over here as mm -hmm. well. And then I'm just going to put a little bit more of these in here. And Mary, if you could hand me the sugar, that would be so okay. cool. Sugar, I sir. And I'll let you do that, Robert. Okay. Stir all this in, and I'll okay. take that. Okay. So what I'm going to do real quickly is take some sugar and just put it on these strawberries. Okay. That we just sliced. We hauled them and sliced them. So when you have a stem on it, yeah, such as this. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just cut this and start cutting it. You want to take your paring knife and go all the way around and pull it off. So you have this Beautiful. like that. That's, that's hauling. And then we took it and we went like that. Now we do have some lovely plates over there, Mary, that I know you're very excited about. <laughs> I am very excited about this I know, about this I, know I know. Oh, three, three plates. I like uh -huh, this. Yeah. I did lose one of them. I did. Oh, there's my knife. I knew I had a knife. Okay, so I'm going to take a knife, like mm -hmm. so, each one of you, because you've all been so good and so yes. nice. While we do this, we're just going to... I usually use a serrated knife mm -hmm. when I'm going to cut a biscuit or anything like that. The serrated, this is serrated. We always call them also bread knife. Also a bread knife. A bread knife. AKA, a a a a bread, knife. bread knife. So there we go, like so. All right, now, Mayor, you're yes, going to know exactly how to do this whole thing here. Okay. I'll move this up here. Maybe mm -hmm. you can put those right there. Okay. And Mary's going to start putting big old things right in the center there. Right. And this will be our top. Like here? Yeah, Is while that big you're, enough? While you're doing it. Oh, it's a oh, beautiful. More strawberries. I'm okay. going to put more strawberries on there. We can do that for each one. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put some more on my... Put that. I want to be generous. I want to be generous. We're going to be generous today. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. We like mm -hmm. desserts in my family. Oh. Nothing we, wrong with that. We've is often it? thought about skipping all the food and just having a dessert of dinner. Of course. <laughs> well, actually, when I go <laughs> invite me, Mary. When I, I will. When I go to a restaurant, I always look at the dessert menu first. I always. And what do. are you looking for? What I want to have for dessert. Okay. And then I plan the rest of my menu, the around first it? courses, around the dessert. <laughs> And I know that's kind of crazy, but that's what I like to do. Okay, so so here we're going to do, we can put that oh, off to yeah. the off side to a little side bit, like something okay. like that. A little bit more whipped cream on this one. All right, a little more whipped cream. I think that's Mary's. This is Mary's. Okay, we're going to have Mary's special <laughs> one is okay. right there. And there you go. We oh have gosh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful little things here. It's so pretty. Uh-huh. We have some of those there. Mm. Look oh. at that. Look, Look at that. that. Look at that. So it's nice. gorgeous. It's springtime right on it a plate, is. is it not? And Mary, yes, just sir. because you have the most whipped cream on it, I'm going to uh, let you, like you do the, 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 okay, the I will taste do the test, test taste. today. Let me get some of this luscious in here. Mm. Good? Oh. It's phenomenal. Uh, Highly recommend. All right, there That's, you go. A little mm -hmm. strawberry and rhubarb um, shoot, shortcake. We have yum, that, yum. We have that right there. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you got some ideas to recreate in your own kitchen and learned a little something along the way. For more information on our common table and our mission to eat well, protect our environment, and rebuild the local food economy one dish at a time, check out our website and join us on social media.